I don't think anyone should ever feel that you're a burden. I feel like people mm. think that they're burdens to other people. Yeah. It's like, no, you're not a fucking burden. You would be a burden if you weren't here anymore. <laughs> Do you, right. you know what I'm saying? It's no, mm-hmm. I, I wish people, more people knew that. Mm-hmm. For sure. Sarah sent me a, a nine minute long voice message today. I was mm-hmm. like, I'm not going to listen to that. But then she sent me a text message afterwards. She said, I recorded an emotional regulation meditation for you to do when you need it. So this is like my support system. like, nice. Hey, I recognize that this is where you're struggling. So yeah. she recorded, she, she's a therapist and she does this for a living. She mm-hmm. sat down, recorded this meditation for me. She's like, this is perfect for you. This is just what you need. Use this when you need it. Good. Um, that's, what a, that's what a support system is for. Welcome to Cut the Crap with Beth and Matt, the world's number one no bullshit health and fitness podcast. Are you ready to cut the crap with your diet and exercise, get strong as fuck, and build a healthy relationship with food? Then you've come to the right place. Show your support for the podcast by joining our Patreon community, where you get exclusive content, which consists of monthly workouts you can do at home or at the gym, monthly challenges that are either strength, habit, or mindset based and access to hundreds of lower calorie, higher protein, family-friendly recipes. And now all Patreon members receive exclusive access to a private Facebook group. Now no, let's cut the crap. All right, here we go. First episode of 2024. Ooh, it is, isn't it? Yes. Happy 2024. Happy 2024, Nerdle. How was your New Year's? Relaxing. <laughs> Mine too. I was, I didn't quite, I made the ball drop. But only after getting woken up for it, because I was I was passed out on the couch with my friends by eleven o'clock, and they're just oh, sitting there funny. making fun of me. So oh, I love um, it. <laughs> that's my old man status. I'm like, yeah, I can do anything for any extended amount of time, but if you sit me down on a couch in front of a TV or anything, oh, I'm out within seconds. Instant. Yes. I have. I do. You struggle with watching full movies too. <laughs> I do. And that's actually yeah. something that I'll probably we can talk about today with what the, the stuff we want to talk about because of the attention and shit. So um, mm. I do I, I do struggle mm-hmm. with that, not because of falling asleep, but just from an attention. Stand. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I, I can that. relate. But uh, mm-hmm. you were just saying, so you're walking on your walking pad here. I am walking on my walking pad. And I was just telling Matt before we press the record button that there's no such thing as bad weather. That's just bad clothing because it is cold out right now. But it is. the only reason I'm not outside walking is because I've been on meetings today and thank God for my walking pad. So it helps. And actually, there's after, a will, there's a way. Yeah, after this podcast, my son already asked me if we could take a walk. And I'm like, absolutely. Well, let's okay, go walk Johnny, let's go. I know. Impressed. Cool. So, mm-hmm. cool. yeah, I agree. I, I I should actually not should because that's actually one thing I'm working on this year is the should statements, right? Mm. Shoulding myself. So, yeah, I would like to buy a walking pad for myself because I think that would be really good for me and and my overall wellness and health goals and everything too. Just from yeah. the standpoint of sitting down. Yeah. Like, oh my God, who keeps calling me? Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah and then i just made a video this morning about walking as well as you and i n- both know and we talk about there's no bad weather right for, right, for walking right. there's just it's just bad preparation and oh, i'm yeah. not saying this to, to take a shot at you obviously you're still walking and, mm-hmm. and everything and but that's really what it comes down to is like people are like oh my god it's cold out i can't go for my walk what should i do instead well if you're gonna bundle up me, bundle up you're, you're gonna go for your walk instead get a hat get some gloves some mm-hmm. layers get some merino wool socks mm-hmm. you're gonna be warm you don't have to look pretty you, you don't have, have to look, look pretty, pretty. Fuck that <laughs> just I, I it doesn't matter what i look like i just want to be warm exactly so you, yeah you bundle up and then you start moving and you, you will be warm you yeah know? but i, I fu- love what you're doing here that's great because we all we're not just these hard asses saying you must walk and uh, if, if you don't walk then fuck you no it's like, not gonna walk <laughs> you're not gonna walk okay cool but let's do something we still gotta yeah. be moving our ass and that's i mean what you're doing, and that's what we encourage if you're like in a fucking tundra where it's 20 below and right. you're, if you're at risk circle at you're risk Canadian. for <laughs> getting freaking um frostbite then we don't obviously let's do get it. a 50 outside use common sense for sure but, that's, I mean, that's when you should be working out inside and getting some movement inside you can pretty much walk outside. Absolutely. Absolutely. Something is better than nothing always. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and part of the whole reason why um, we recommend, or at least I recommend, I think you as well, um, for walking outside in the cold is because it's uncomfortable, right? Mm-hmm. It's hard. It's yeah. unpleasant. And those are the things we, where our body doesn't want to do those things. Our, our brain is like, what the fuck are you doing to me? Get mm-hmm. me out of here. I don't want to do this. 
You yeah. tell your brain to fuck off. You do it anyway, because that's yeah. where you grow. That's where you change. Seriously, you got to do hard things. I yeah. actually have run a, a, a marathon in Millinock, Millinock at Maine in December. I did it yeah. for a few years and it was 20 below at one Whoa. point. The wind was blowing. I thought I had frostbite on my... But it was the most exhilarating experience because I fucking did it. It's, you know, the, when you do hard things, you can do harder things. It, it, it's like the hard thing that you thought was really hard isn't as hard as it was. Once you accomplish it, right? You're leveling the fuck up every time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was hard while you did it, while, while, while you did it, but then you accomplish it and then you get that fucking, the euphoria, the sensation. Yeah. Holy shit, I just did that? Yes, you fucking mm -hmm. did. Yeah, exactly. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Awesome. Let's see what else is new for New Year's. I'm you working on anything new for New Year's? Um, am I working on anything new? I want to finish my menopause course. Okay. I'm not really technically working on anything new. I'm really focusing on my speaking event, to be honest, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is like the next big thing. So there's that. Oh, I did get asked to talk to the kids at the local high school about nutrition. I saw that on your story. That's fucking cool. I am so fucking pumped. I have never been so excited. Because we've talked about this in our podcast that it really starts like in the schools. It does. And the fact that I got asked to do this for their like wellness week. And I'm saying, I asked them, I said, how did you hear about me? They're like, we all follow you on Instagram and TikTok. So and I was like, oh my God, that's so that's fucking awesome. cool. And, and I said, well, why did you choose me? And she's like, listen, we could hire anyone over here, a 70 year old dietitian, but no one's going to listen to them. The kids right. don't, they, they were going to be able to relate to you. Yeah. And I'm like, that's fucking cool. It's true. Yeah. So I'm bringing in, I ordered a bunch of stuff from first form and I'm going to do like a raffle. I got like a bunch of tubs of protein powder and like bars and beef sticks. Cause you know, kids will love that free shit. And I'm okay. just going to hand it out and talk to them about protein. And the you get a protein bar. You get a protein yeah. bar. Yeah. up in here. Tossing them out. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm excited. That's cool. So I got to ask you, Beth. Obviously, mm -hmm. I don't care care about your swearing then. Or did you? No, I mean, you, and like, I've already gotten some DMs. Like, how, how, and... are you, how are you going to? It's funny the way people think. They don't think I have manners, like in the, in the public right. place. Like, this is my platform. I can talk over the fuck I want. But I, if I'm going to a school event or something, obviously, I'm going to have to filter myself. Or I'm just going to do it because... That's just what you do. A little bit. Yeah. But I don't I, need to really do that on my own social media platform. Right. There is zero reason. The people there that, is that, zero reason not, to children should be myself. watching your content if they are like exactly. Parent, come on, parents, get it together. But uh, that's something that I remember about the, my favorite teachers when I was in school were the ones mm -hmm. that did swear. The ones that yeah. said that, that, that dropped the dams and shits and hells. And yeah, we, we even had a few that dropped some F-bombs every once in a while. Oh, my God. Yeah. Our, te our teachers can never get away with that these days. But yeah, yeah exactly. Definitely. So the teachers it, that I love the most. Right. I'm just going to be my real self. Of course, I'm I'm not going to be like, fuck this, fuck that. But, you know, yeah. if, if one flies out, I'm not going to worry about it. I mean, they're, I don't think they, they asked me to come there to relate to the kids. And so I'm just going to be myself. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Be yourself. I'll tat it up if you get an F bomb out there. Okay. Who cares? Right? So, <laughs> right. that's awesome. It's not like I'm up there doing like a speaking event. I'm going to be walking around talking to the kids. So it's a little bit different as if I was oh, doing so like you're a not actually, presentation. You're not doing like a presentation? No. Or? No. Okay. Got no. It. Yeah. Okay. She wants me to talk to the social workers there and I'm going to be in a room where the kids can come in and talk to me. So okay. it's going to be more like personal okay. and then we're going to do some raffles and I'll have a table awesome. set up. Yeah. Excited for you, Nerdle. Me too. That's very cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm more excited to do this and actually going, doing my speaking event thing. Well, I think <laughs> I, 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 this I, is I think like I a lot of meaning for me. But I wish really I had someone have an impact on people's lives doing yeah, that. Yeah. That's what it's about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to mm -hmm. help kids because the woman I talked to said the kids, a lot of them struggle with eating disorders mm -hmm. there and Body image they need a lot of help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, as we know, and as we've talked about on this podcast, the public education system is not a great place for, I mean, teaching health. <laughs> period. Yeah. And she even met, was talking about the, the cafeteria food and yeah. how subpar it is. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. So who knows where this will actually take me? Maybe I could be doing something more on a permanent level. Mm -hmm. I, who who knows? I would like to be more involved in my community and helping mm -hmm. kids out. Mm -hmm. For sure. That's actually, I, I actually you might just um, <laughs> said yes yesterday. Uh -huh. My dad asked me to volunteer at a benefit that we're, that um, our NAMI, our local NAMI chapter yeah. is doing in February. Um mm -hmm. I don't remember Ray of Light. I think it's called the Ray of Light um, Awards. Uh -huh. Tim uh -huh. Tebow hosts it. 
Tim fucking Tebow. So I got to go through. Oh, Tim Tebow. Yeah. Yeah, okay. for sure. So I'm going to, I'm going to volunteer for, at their charity for mental health. Uh, I don't nice. know what I'm going to be doing, but I'm really excited for that as well. So look at us. Yeah. Fucking look at us. us. Yeah. It's so random. We get these things that are always aligned for some reason, right? Yeah. Me we don't too. even plan these things with I each know, other. Right? Like, hey, I'm doing this thing. Oh, I'm doing this thing too. I'm doing it too. We don't even talk about it. That's so cool. Yeah. Love that. Until we get on these, on this, on, on this podcast, because mm-hmm. when we do all of our catching up anymore. I know. So, <laughs> yeah. I think today we wanted to talk about mental health as well. Well, mm-hmm. mental health, this, I should say health, our health struggles yeah, health and, and, and everything. Because, it, because for you, it's going to be something different. But for me, it's mental health. And with me talking about that, that charity that I'm going to be doing, I think that's mm-hmm. a really good segue for this, for this episode. Yeah. As a parent, our days are filled with joy, challenges, and countless memories of connection. And let's be real here. More often than not, chaos can feel downright unavoidable. And in those moments, maintaining our peace and well-being are absolutely crucial. And you should know by now that I love talking about all things mindfulness. So this message is for all you mindful parents out there seeking a natural path to tranquility and presence. Cured Nutrition understands the unique stressors we face every day. Whether it's waking up early to take the kids to school or playing taxi as you shuttle everyone from practice to practice, let's not forget that you still have your daily responsibilities with your own career. That's why they created their Serenity Gummies your go-to ally in managing the complexities of parenthood with ease. These gummies aren't just a treat. They're a blend of science-backed, health-supporting ingredients like full-spectrum cannabinoids, ashwagandha, reishi mushroom, and L-theanine. Each ingredient is chosen for its ability to support your physical, mental, and emotional sense of calm. Now imagine unwinding from the day's hustle with a natural alternative to alcohol, helping you to improve your presence, mindfulness, and overall well-being. Now, oftentimes we turn to alcohol as a way to alleviate stress, but take it from someone that has a long look at his relationship with alcohol. That really only makes things worse. The Serenity Gummies offer a more holistic tool to have in your arsenal so that you can feel good about feeling good. I personally enjoy the passion fruit flavor. It's sweet with some kind of an earthy undertone. I'm no expert when it comes to tasting things. I just know what works for me, what tastes good. In addition to that, each gummy is precisely dosed to guide me to my happy place. Now, Cured Nutrition is offering an exclusive 20% off discount just for our listeners when you purchase Serenity Gummies. Visit www.curednutrition.com slash CTC and use coupon code CTC at checkout. That's C-U-R-E-D nutrition.com slash CTC, coupon code CTC to embrace a state of relaxation and balance. Remember, protecting your peace is just one gummy away. Now take a moment for yourself and find serenity in the midst of life's whirlwind moments. Because you, as a parent, deserve to support your well-being and do something for yourself so you can continue serving others like the badass that you are. Protect your peace and pop a gummy. I don't know how to start this. I I just know I wanted to talk today because I've been feeling... Feeling some shit. Like it's been heavy lately. Mm -hmm. And I know I'm not the only one that has been feeling it in social media comments and DMs with our clients. Everybody's struggling right now, but nobody knows why. It's that time of year, the seasonal Mm -hmm. depression, the holidays. And then, of course, that just makes our mental health issues worse. (laughs) Yeah. And, And I'm at the point now where I'm at. I'm like, I'm not throwing in the towel. I'm not throwing in the towel. I should rephrase this. I am <laughs> taking the next step in my own mental health mental health journey. Mm-hmm. And I am seeking out a referral for a psychiatrist rather than a therapist yeah. to see if I can get on some meds. Okay. Um, because I have really, 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 really been struggling mm-hmm. with some ADHD mm-hmm. tendencies. And everybody I talked to that knows me really well from Coach Mel and my team, who's a therapist. She's, she's not my therapist, but right. um, friends that are therapists and things like that, they're like, Matt, you absolutely have ADHD. You need to mm-hmm. go get a diagnosis and you get to get, you need to get this taken care of. Because yeah. at this point in my life, like it's, it's holding me back. Yeah. It's, it's holding me back. And I posted a story on Instagram this morning from Dan Co. Something along the lines of, what was that story? Let's see, I'm just going to look it up really quickly because mm-hmm. I don't have great memory these days it seems that's the adhd i was gonna say that's part of it (laughs) it is it absolutely is yeah it's the best periods of my life always came after a period of getting absolutely fed up with the lack of progress i was Mm -hmm. making and that's Mm -hmm. where i'm at i am fed up because i know what is holding me back i have done all the things that you should do that they talk about doing for 
managing ADHD and depression because I've got depression too that I need to get diagnosed, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I've done all those things. I've, yeah. I have I, I still do my strength training. I, I, I have good nutrition. I work mm-hmm. on my daily habits. I prioritize sleep. I prioritize stress management, all this stuff. I'm yeah. doing these things. And some days it's really fucking hard. Most days it's really, really fucking hard. Mm-hmm. And I've really been feeling that lately. A lot of days I'm just pushing through with sheer willpower. Mm-hmm. Anybody listening right right now can relate to that. I'm going through the motions a lot of the times. Mm-hmm. I'm still doing my walks because I know how good they are for me and my yeah. dog loves them and I do enjoy them. I'm still getting my strength training in. I'm not doing it as much as I would like to and all these other things. So for me, it's okay. We've tried the lifestyle stuff. Mm-hmm. We've tried therapy. Yeah. We've tried talk therapy, talking through, d- developing the skills and everything. I've got those. I've got the awareness. Mm-hmm. And now it's okay. So now we take that next step. Yeah. Now we start looking into per- perhaps getting medication for ADHD yeah. or depression, whatever it is yeah. I've got going on with my life. Because right. I, I was I was talking with Sarah. Um, I know I haven't really talked about her on the podcast yet, but mm-hmm. um, I was talking with Sarah yesterday and I was like, I don't know which version of myself I'm going to get from day to day. Yeah. I don't know which version of myself is going to wake up. Is it the mm-hmm. version of myself that does, just wants to lay in bed all day? That mm-hmm. that's, uh, that's unmotivated, that can't stay focused for longer than five fucking minutes at a time? Yeah. Or is it the happy, cheery version of myself that I know is in there that is dreaming to come out, you know? Right, right. This probably sounds a lot worse than, I'm probably, this is probably the first time I've talked with a lot of my mental health issues. I've, I've talked about some of them on the podcast, but mm-hmm. it's not all doom and gloom. I, I am in a relatively good place. It's just for right. the most part, um, I do struggle. Everybody struggles. And that's really yeah. what I wanted to talk about here is you're not everybody listening. Your struggles are not unique to you. And I'm telling mm-hmm. you this because I want you to understand that you're not alone. Yeah. And it's okay if behavior change and lifestyle management doesn't get you to where you need to be. Mm-hmm. Because these are chemical imbalances. These are these are yeah. these are hormones that we're talking about. And nope. it's okay to take medication. Trust me. I, I agree, Matt, because I want I'm on anti-anxiety medication. I struggle with mm-hmm. a, a massive anxiety and depression. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. have to be on this medication. Now I've tried years to go off right. of it. And then I only end up back on it because I'm like, I don't need this anymore. No, Beth, you really do fucking need it. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's okay to get help. And after you've exhausted everything like you have, it's like, you know what? I I am sick of being exhausted from trying. It becomes- It's exhausting. It's literally paralyzing. Yes. Yeah. I love doing this. I love, I love everything, but everything in my life is suffering because of, because of, Mm -hmm. because of these issues that I've, that I haven't been able to figure out. Do you feel like everything's coming at a head for some reason? Yeah. Everything. I have been going yeah. through so much in my life this past year and a half, as yeah. a lot of the people close to me know. It's mm-hmm. absolutely is everything is right now coming to to a head right now. Yeah. And that's that's part of the problem is mm-hmm. I've been throwing so much shit and mm-hmm. unpacking so much shit from childhood trauma and, and things yeah. like that. It's heavy. It's fucking mm-hmm. heavy. Yeah. 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 So yeah. My men- so yeah, mental health it matters. Me- mental health is yes. just as important as our physical health because our mental health, I mean, I'll, I'll go and say it, mental health is even more important than our physical health because they go hand in hand. They really do. You have good mental health, you're probably going to be in better in better physical health because mm-hmm. you're you're going to be taking care of yourself. You're going to be doing yeah. the things that we know are good for us, that we enjoy doing and, and all those things like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Matters. It does. It really does. I'm really proud of you, Matt. I'm good. I'm glad. I, ho- I can't wait for you to get... The help you need and start feeling like a fucking normal human being, whatever that is, you know. I know what my normal is. Like, <laughs> but you know, no, a normally a normal functioning mat, right. a happy yeah. mat. Yeah, and you know that guy. You know me. You're still uh, there. I know. Like, I gotta say, I've noticed a real a shift in you the past maybe more six months or so. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's it's gotten worse. Tell you're like really dealing with a lot m- internally, like in your mind. Yeah. My mind won't shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, and I'm always like, "Are you okay?" You're like, "Yeah, I'm fine." I'm like, no. And, and I do want to talk about like, that too. I'm like, "No, because... you're not, Matt." I'm like, yeah. "I know you're not," and I'm just like, mm-hmm. "Okay, I'm just gonna let you just." See. But I know, I can tell. I don't know if it's because I've known you for a long time, but and I'm in yeah. kind of in well, tune you're, with people. You're my best friend, Beth. That's yeah, why. Yeah, you know? I feel the like... same. So it's I know you're struggling, but I just want to you to know that I'm there for you, and I... that. You do tell me when you're you're ready. You're going to make me cry, Beth. I I, I thought I might have some waterworks in this episode anyway, just because. It's okay. Let it out. This is is a real podcast. We're real fucking people. And this is real life, folks. And you guys, and this is why we we can relate because we don't mask things. And I'll talk about what I've been going through with my health. Yeah. And so like being a coach, 
Okay. It's like, we know what to do and I teach the things that I should be doing, but maybe I'm not doing them <laughs> because we can become complacent. We're human so too. I, yeah. So I had routine blood work done because I had a yearly physical last week. I didn't have, I haven't had a physical in a year and a half. Usually I get them once a year, but my regular doctor left. She opened a restaurant. And so my practice had like people coming in and out, literally. Oh, you can be with this person, but they're only going to be here for a few months. I'm like, no, I want someone that's when they're there, they're going to stay. So this woman, Keiko, she's absolutely incredible. Incredible. I've never had such a good experience in a doctor's office. But anyway, that's besides good. the point. I had blood work done. And of course, I looked at my blood work first and I started Before catastrophizing everything. I was like, holy shit, my fucking cholesterol is through Don't the roof. Do that, guys. Like last year the, or a year and a half, it was way better. And then also it said I had like kidney dysfunction. Like I, it literally said that I had like stage 3A kidney disease. And I'm like, mm -hmm. fuck my life. So that is actually from the creatine I've been taking because when I was doing blood work before, I wasn't taking creatine and I'm not drinking enough water. Mm -hmm. So what happens when you don't drink enough water when you, you're... <laughs> your, kid, your kidneys need water. I mean, you're, you're holding on to more water with the creatine. So you need to drink more. She's like, Beth, so this could be just from dehydration from the creatine. Mm -hmm. So, and she's mm -hmm. also said, stop taking ibuprofen. Yeah. No more ibuprofen and a ton of water. So mm -hmm. th that's going to probably end it to be fine anyway. I'm not really yeah. worried about it. She wasn't really worried about it. But but my... Can we? Can I clarify something in there really quickly? Because I understand yeah. what you're saying, but I don't want anybody to hear what you just said and think that creatine is bad. No, for... creatine does not hurt your kidneys. Right. But it will skew your blood work yeah, if you can. are not hydrated enough. That's all. Because That's why the advice they, when you start taking base, creatine is increase your water. Intake. Yeah, they base the, the blood test off your creatine levels in your blood. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. think of it that way. It's going to skew them. If you have more muscle mass as well, that can skew the results. But it doesn't mean you have kidney disease. Yeah. It just means you need to fucking hydrate yourself. So please don't stop taking creatine. Okay? Hydrate your raisins. <laughs> My doctor did not even tell me. She's like, oh, continue what you're doing, but make sure you're only taking three grams. She's like, okay. are, you measure are you measuring it? I'm like, no. She's I'm like, I'm not measuring my fucking creatine. No. <laughs> she's like, well, start measuring it. And this okay. woman was so well versed in nutrition. Like three to five I'm grams is the recommendation. Yeah. She's like, let's do three. Mm -hmm. So now I've been measuring it. And before I was just scooping it in. And I, I yeah. did that the other day. I was like, wow, that's five or six grams. Yeah. I just, I'm very, you yeah. Know. <laughs> yeah. She's like, make sure you're doing only three, not five. But my blood lipids, she was starting to talk about menopause mm -hmm. and that when you go through menopause, which I am, she said, your blood lipids, your cholesterol will actually start to elevate because your estrogen starts to decline. And I think we talked about this with Barbie Bowles, the dietitian. Mm -hmm. But she talks about this all the time. And maybe the menopause dietitian ladies is that, yeah, that's why we need to m focus more on omega-3 fatty acids and more fiber. Fiber. Yeah. So who stopped taking their omega-3 fatty acids because she got fucking lazy? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I used to take those all the time, but I haven't taken them in like probably six to eight months mm -hmm. because I was traveling. And when you're traveling, I'm like, I'm not going to carry all this shit with me. And then you just, you just stop. Like I stopped taking my magnesium. I stopped taking my vitamin D. And I wasn't really focusing on adding fiber and omega-3 fatty acids. You can get stuck in the cycle of if it fits in your fucking macros. Okay. Yes. I, yeah. Because okay. if it fits and your macros, isn't a great approach. That's not what it should be like. For fat loss, cool. But for overall yeah. health, let's But see. see, I was still stuck in the, I'm not going to have walnuts because they're too high in calories, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to add whatever salmon or something because that's too high in calories. I'm not thinking okay. about that shit anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm literally just focusing on adding more of that in my life. So I'm buying nuts and seeds again. <laughs> okay. I wasn't um, aware that you were kind of lim like limiting those foods. I would kind of stay away from them because I know that they're very high in calories and they're very yeah. easily easy to overeat, but they're also they're very also loaded good. with the good shit, right? They're yeah. very good for you. Yeah. So I know how to moderate. I know how to have like just a handful and put it in my oatmeal. I don't need to like yeah. be worried about it. Mm -hmm. So... I love it. So that. you put your you're putting them in your oatmeal. That's one of my favorite. Yeah, I'm having uh, more. Oat I made the best oatmeal this morning, and I'm like, what the fucking oatmeal? power food, man! It really is. It's like I had oatmeal. I had a half an apple, and I put cinnamon. I put flaxseed, ground flaxseed, and Fuck some yeah. walnuts, and drizzled peanut butter. It was so good. Drizzle peanut butter. That sounds yeah. nice. I probably yeah. would have put honey on that, but a peanut butter sounds great. Yeah, that was perfect. It filled me up to lunch. I also put a half a scoop of vanilla protein powder because I wanted more protein. Yeah, pro pro. So it's really like adding because normally I would have oatmeal, right? I would probably add some blueberries and strawberries, but I wouldn't add the walnuts. I wouldn't have the flaxseed. 
and mm-hmm. you need those omega threes and those that extra fiber. So Absolutely. that's what I'm focusing on is adding rather than taking away. Because my doctor's like, your blood work was really good in 2021 or 2022 with the last time I had blood work. So do what you were doing then. And I think back, and that's when I was really focusing on fat loss. And I was eating a ton of veggies. I think I was telling you, I was eating salads all the time. Salad a day. Yeah, all the time. And I stopped doing that. Admittedly, I've also reduced my amount of salads that I eat. And I do need to, I do want to get back to that. I have been in maintenance and the, uh, you can eat anything kind of, which you can. And that's what I like to teach. And I think I got also stuck in, in trying to teach people that you can eat anything. Mm -hmm. You're trying Um, to show them lead by example. I I was really this year trying to make, I was trying to lead by example Yeah, because it's true. You can literally eat anything you want and have a healthy relationship with food, but not as much as you want. It's also been the holidays. I was traveling. Travel is a big one. I've been eating out a lot this year. I don't know how many trips you went on last year, but at least six, seven or eight. Yeah. And think about it. Every time we travel, we have those gummy candies. We're eating chips. we're We're eating out. Mm-hmm. I'll come back and have my normal food, then I'll go away again. So mm-hmm. it's really now I have to really be more focused. conscientious. Yeah, con- yeah. Conscious. Yeah. <laughs> Make a conscious effort. Uh, I am. And it's not, it's not it's not hard. It's not nothing. It's like I this don't, is the end of the world for you. It's okay. Nothing this I don't know. A, yeah. Yeah. And like I said, I'm not changing anything. I had a tuna sandwich and I'll add broccoli sprouts and I'll add tomato and cucumber. Before I was lazy admittedly i'll have a tuna sandwich with cheese and add no fucking veggies yeah because you're like so, oh i got the bread right the whole grain. i got the bread the whole grain i got my protein i'm good no bath you need some fiber i love sprouts on sandwiches by the way it's actually really good my doctor recommended that. that she's like add some broccoli sprouts and i was like yeah. you're right okay mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so that's why i always talk about what you can add rather than take away if i want a pop tart i'm still gonna have a pop tart but i'm gonna make sure that i add <laughs> Something to that because mm-hmm. you can't you balance know? it out. Yeah. Or just maybe just one or two times less a week or something, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Well, that's so good. that's where I'm at. Yeah. I mean, it's not like this is like the end of the world for you, right? It's, it's not, not like it's you're... something I can control. Yes, it is. And not all of it because some not of it is you're hereditary. Shit that's outside of your control, right? You're not but blaming your menopause. You're not yeah. blaming um, time management or work or any of yeah. these other things. You're like, yeah, no, it's me. I knew it was And me. it's also something that I've been thinking about. I'm like, you know what, Beth? You really do need to like add more of this stuff in your life. And mm-hmm. this kind of kicked me in the ass to do that. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. no sure. sweat off my back. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. It's, yeah. A, it's the sign that you needed, that, that you were looking yeah. for. Really. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, good. Good. I'm happy to hear that. You're going to be out. You're going to, when's your, when's your next appointment? Is this a yearly thing? No, nah, she wants to check back in four months. So when I come okay. back from Florida. I bet you, you're going to be. She was like, what, how much time do you want? She's like, six months, four months. I'm like, let's just do April when I come back and yeah. see where I'm at. And I mean, because just that little amount of time can have a big impact on. on oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. oh, yeah. Oh, I yeah. Mean, just from like a, a client's perspective, we, we've seen clients after just a couple of months reverse mm-hmm. their pre-diabetes and things like that. Yeah. You know? so. Yeah. It's, do- it's totally possible with lifestyle management. Yeah. It's like I have the exercise down. No problem. Right. It's you really you really need to focus on your health. That's what I'm more focused on. My words for this year is health and longevity. OK. OK. Not sure what my words are. I don't know if I'm going to adopt any words for the year or not. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I myself is, is, is the word. I just want to yeah. find myself. Again. So, yeah. Yeah. Do you have any New Year's goals, Matt? One goal that I've worked on and I'm going to stick with is mm-hmm. more hobbies that stimulate me. Mm-hmm. So you, so you probably, you did see on my Instagram story. Oh, I that fucking I love that. I was like, oh my God, Lego you love Legos New too? Year's Day. I love Legos. Oh my God. So tell I'm getting me into more. fucking Legos now. Uh-huh. Really excited. I already started. I bought the A-frame cabin. I was like, I saw that. Yeah. Like, it's got the hiker. It's got the, the kayak and everything. I was, I was like, that's fucking me right That's there. awesome. Yeah. Damn. Oh my God. Legos expensive hobby. Oh, yeah. oh, oh my God. My oh, son has man. the Mandalorian still in the box. And I'm like, got him that for Christmas a couple of years ago. It was like a 150 fucking dollars. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. should start putting that thing together. Cause when he was little, he loved Legos, but it was hard for him to read the, the instructions. So would we do it together? And I would end up putting it together. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. We'd be sitting at the table for hours. I loved it though. I just mm-hmm. would immerse myself in it. Yeah, for sure. I love that. I love that. Yeah, I I, I, I uh, built Legos all the time when I was a kid. I remember building them with my dad 
in the mm-hmm. living room floor. And then my, my son Riker never really got into him, but a, a girl uh-huh. that I was, well, my ex fiance, her two, her two boys years ago, they, they were really into Lego and I really enjoyed doing that with them. So I'm excited with Riker being with me essentially full time now, or hopefully I can get him into Lego. I'm going to be, I'm going to spend an hour or two building the A-frame cabin tonight after I pick him up from basketball practice. So, nice. hope, so I'm hope I'm hoping that'll be another bonding thing for us. Yeah. The main reason behind this particular hobby is I needed and wanted more hobbies that reduced this, the screen time. Yes, love it. Phone time, TV Mm -hmm. time. I've been playing a lot of video games and Mm -hmm. I was using video games as an unhealthy coping mechanism Mm -hmm. because of everything I've been dealing with in my life, Mm -hmm. right? ADHD symptoms and and depression and things like that. I was playing too much video games. So I need something that's going to replace that because all I've I noticed because I've got so much awareness, right? I've, mm-hmm. We've been building up this awareness for years now in ourselves. Yeah. I was like, man, this is not good for me. I was like, these video games right now with my current state of mind, they are mm-hmm. called, they're doing more harm than good. So I got rid of the game that I was playing because it was very high attention it re- and it was constantly changing your attention. It's mm. Perfect for kids these days that have the, the show, the, the small attention span, right? Right. For myself, I was like, nah, this is very bad. This is this is bad for my attention and, and my mental health. So mm. I got rid of that game. I'm still playing my games, but they're they're the more casual, laid back games that don't yep. that do grab my attention and keep my attention and allow me to actually focus. So they're mm. they're, made, they're using my brain power and, and things like that. Nice. Rather than just constant dopamine hits and, and things like that. Yeah, that's what ADHD is. It's it's you're, you're searching for dopamine consistently. Searching for dopamine. Yeah. yeah. You, uh, your body's not producing the dopamine in a way that is good for you. So you're going out and getting it with all these unhealthy behaviors. Mm-hmm. AK food and things like that. That's not how I'm doing it. But yeah, for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When I, when I, when, when Mel, when coach Mel from my team said, Matt, ADHD is a dopamine deficiency. I was like, mm-hmm. Oh fuck. I was like, that makes well, so much sense. That's why you're a fucking thrill seeker, Matt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, th- that's why Matt likes to jump right. out of planes. Yeah. Yes. That's why I like to jump out of planes. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, when we were hiking, he would always do the most dangerous shit. I didn't even think my son even had a name for you. It's like, Matt always does this stuff. It's so crazy. I take the hard routes. I take the, yes. I go on the ledges and You'd be on the fucking shit. cliff and shit. Yeah. You're exactly right. It's the, yeah, you're, it's the, the adrenaline, the dopamine. That's just the ADHD personality in me for sure. Mm. And I love traveling. I love doing all these things and they're, that's not going anywhere. Yeah. Um, just got to work on those healthier, healthier things back when I'm home. So mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now when I think about it, I'm like, maybe that's why you were traveling so much. I, I was, I'm like, Matt, cause I think now that you're home and you're actually able to like sit I'm sitting there, with the shit. you're sitting with the shit and you're like, fuck. Okay. You're not traveling as much. You're not getting that thrill. Like every fucking three weeks that you were like as we say this i'm living going for, on the um, edge like, the last two weeks of the year i'm traveling but that was <laughs> planned like a year ago so no i know but you know what i mean yes you're you're i've made that observation <laughs> now that when you think about it i mean especially the last six months my, i've had a relationship end and mm-hmm. and so i've been doing nothing but sitting with my feelings and sitting with myself i was like man i don't like this version <laughs> of myself i gotta do something about this <laughs> For sure. Because I was, you travel for me was a, was an escape. Mm-hmm. And I, and I kind of knew this. Um, I worked with a mindset coach back at the early uh, beginning of pandemic. He said, Matt, you're using travel to escape. And this is when I was still working full time. I was like, mm-hmm. shit, I de- didn't really realize that. I was like, I, I thought I've been like, I love traveling. I, this is the life I'm trying to create. So it's just ha- right. having that healthy relationship with it. Balance. Yeah. Balance for sure. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So I also, you're, I want to talk about support systems as well, mm-hmm. especially as it pertains to our mental health. So you're a fabulous piece of my support system, right? And I've leaned heavily on my support system for sure. Mm-hmm. You're you and Mel and Sarah mm-hmm. and my, my my good friends. And I just want to. That's the importance of having a strong support system is to yeah. call you out <laughs> on your bullshit when when you're saying you're okay and your your support system knows you're not they can see through it mm-hmm. and so it's okay to accept help from your friends if, yeah. you, if they're checking in with you and then everything like that it's okay to lean on others for help it's yeah. absolutely okay oh, to yeah. lean on others for help I, I don't think anyone should ever feel that you're a burden I feel like people mm-hmm. think that they're burdens to other people. It's yeah. like, no, you're not a fucking burden. You would be a burden if you weren't here anymore. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? It's no. Mm-hmm. I, I wish people more people knew that. 
Mm -hmm, for sure. Sarah sent me a, a nine minute long voice message today. I was mm -hmm. like, I'm not going to listen to that. But then she sent me a text message afterwards. She said, I recorded an emotional regulation meditation for you to do when you need it. So this is like my support system. It's like, nice. Hey, I recognize that this is where you're struggling. So yeah. she recorded, see, she's a therapist and she does this for a living. She mm -hmm. sat down, recorded this meditation for me. She's like, this is perfect for you. This is just what you need. Use this when you need it. Good. Um, that's, what a, that's what a support system is for. Yes. That's what I a support that. system is for. Mm -hmm. You've got to be open to it though. If you're not open to support. That could have seemed like standoffish or like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, what's wrong with me? No, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it, uh, these people are just trying to help. Yeah. Absolutely. A mm -hmm. couple of years ago, I probably would not have been uh, open to that. Right. You know, because of the ego and, and all that thing, all those things. Because we know best. I don't need help. Fuck your ego. Right. <laughs> I've had many ego deaths this last year plus. <laughs> many ego deaths. I'm sure I've still got many more of them in me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm aware of it at least. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you ever wanted to start a podcast? Spotify's got a platform that lets you make one super easily and then distribute it everywhere and even earn money doing what you love all in one place for free. It's called Spotify for Podcasters, and here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit episodes right from your phone or computer, so no matter what your setup is like, you can start creating today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify and everywhere else podcasts are heard. Now, what's really cool is video podcasts are also now available on Spotify. And if you want to be taken seriously on social media, you need to have a video presence. And what better way to do that by connecting with people via your video episodes? With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. And best of all, it's all totally free with no catch whatsoever. And ever since we discovered Spotify for podcasters here on Cut the Crap with Beth and Matt, we are easily releasing new episodes and distributing them to multiple platforms, and it's never been easier. We highly recommend you give it a try. You can download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to www.spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. And yeah, so I, I appreciate you, Beth. I, I want to say that. Yeah, I appreciate same. my support system, our followers, our listeners, our friends we've made on the podcast. We have and a lot of, so, you guys, we appreciate you so much. I have the kind messages and DMs that we get and comments, honestly. Yeah, because sometimes like when we're talking on our podcast, like we're just two people talking to each other and then we'll yeah. get messages and be like, hey, I heard you talking about how you're struggling with this. I, I understand that. Yeah. I just, my thoughts and whatever are with you. I'm like, oh, thank you so much. Because sometimes I forget that we people are listening to us. You know? I know, I know. Thousands of people too. are listening to us, which is weird. We woke up number four on the charts the other I, day. I know, like, you sent me that. It's, we are number four, maybe, I think maybe number six now. But anyway, we're still in the top 10. After almost, we're heading into year three, I think. Years. Yeah, this is year three. I'm fucking Apple. And I'm like, Matt, I don't even think we realize like the impact that we have. I, because I don't, I know I don't. I don't mm -hmm. really grasp it because it's out of my scope in my brain to think that. I, I can't yes. even explain it. It's day like, to day, it's hard to grasp that until we do something like a meet and greet and we get 30 fucking people. Yes, show, yes. You know? Oh my and, God, this is right. Amazing. It's because we love this so much. We're just doing it because we love it and yeah. we know it helps people what we don't really know the the big i don't even i don't even know what i'm saying you know what i mean big picture the big picture of it yeah yeah how mm -hmm. big it is really and yeah the whole scope the whole scope the of whole it, right? scope of it thank you i, I yeah. knew there was a fucking word for it i just couldn't think of it <laughs> yeah you. nerd has got to support each other <laughs> <laughs> yes but yeah number i mean shit that's awesome it is it is so we can take talk about that for a few minutes like show our appreciation because yeah I don't, we had no expectations when we started this podcast, mm -hmm. zero. We didn't even know what the fuck yeah. we were doing. We still don't most of the time, right? but a learning process. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, we are very appreciative of all the friends and, and fans and followers and family members that, and we've, that we've welcomed to our family. And, and as a result of this podcast, it's, it's truly incredible. Yeah. And I don't think people realize either that as much as you guys learn from us, I learn a lot from my followers and my DMs a lot more. Oh, yeah. Than I than I would have. I have learned so much more information from actually people DMing me stuff than mm -hmm. I could ever imagine. Yeah, not only that, but it also it. it really helps put things into perspective because these mm -hmm. are the things that we're talking about. But then when we get a message from somebody that's I've been struggling with this for 50 years and just hearing you say something different changed mm -hmm. everything for me. And it's like, yeah. oh shit, I don't even remember what I said. But right, you know, right. I that, I won't even remember what we talked about. <laughs> What did we talk about last week? I don't know. Fuck your New Year's um, resolutions, right? Yes. Or not New fuck Year's your New Year's resolutions. It was uh, let's make smarter Go resolutions. It. Go get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
for sure. Yeah. For sure. And speaking of traveling, yeah. I want to talk about the Pacific Northwest because I put that in my Fuck stories yeah. a lot. And Fuck I've yeah. gotten so many DMs from people that live in Oregon that are so pumped for this. So I have gotten, I've saved in my phone so many places to hike and places to, places to sit, to stay. Speaking of followers, like sending me amazing information because they live there. They're like, oh mm -hmm. my God, you could stay here. You can hike here. I've done this. So I got a ton of information on the okay. Pacific Northwest. And so what you're saying is we're going to Oregon next year. Yes. Okay. This year. This year. Oh my God. This year. Not in 2025. I'm 2025. thinking the same time that we went to Utah, like June. Which seems to be the best hiking time for that area is what I, I believe what I researched. Yeah. And that's and, also the less the least amount of rain and tropical weather. Right. The they said like right. end of June, July, August, September. But I think all right. Probably end of June would be best before it starts to get busy. We'll start looking at our calendars and planning that out for when we can make yeah. that happen. But y'all are hearing it first. We're coming to Oregon, yeah. baby. I asked Johnny if he wanted to go because I was mm -hmm. like, he probably he'll probably say no. He's like, Oh yeah, I want to go. So? I'm like, Okay. Okay. okay, well then we'll get Riker there. Yeah, that'll yeah. be fun. I mean, I, I'm glad he wants to because it's kind of like a, I don't know, I think it's cool to to experience as a kid. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. I wish I would have. Take your son to work day. Yeah. yeah. Although that's every day for us. <laughs> I know, yeah. For sure. That's so. awesome. Yeah. Okay, and Mel lives in Oregon. Um, oh, nice. So we've got that. Um, Is she near all the good stuff? Yeah, she's in Albany, okay. the Albany area. So from her house, it was like an hour and a half away from, or not even out. It was like an hour, 45 minutes to, to south of Portland, okay, um, Portland, Oregon. So she's on the northern part, but she's she's close to the coast and everything. And mm -hmm. when I stayed, when I stayed in that area, it was a five hour drive to Crater Lake. So there's a lot of national parks in that area. Lots of mm -hmm. amazing state parks. I, one of the things I want to do as well is go, go to Mount Rainier. So maybe we can look mm -hmm. at doing Mount Rainier or something for the trip. Yeah. I don't know, but I'll yeah. definitely, we're coming, baby. Yeah. All right. So if you have any ideas for us, please, you know what to do. <laughs> Send us Pacific a DM, Northwest, an email. The Give Pacific us ideas, Northwest, suggestions. A meet and greet for Cut the Crop. Let us know. For sure. Hell yeah. Okay. So we got that. And then we Florida. are also, Florida is going to be in March, right? Mm -hmm. That'll be in the, in the which area is that? Like the Tamp, Tamp or Orlando uh, area, I'll, right? Yes. Yes. I'll be in the Cocoa Beach area, but we can yep. travel probably best to Orlando or. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wherever, wherever we can get people to come, essentially. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, it's Florida. So there's, I know we have a lot of listeners in, in Florida and then we have a lot of friends and followers and fans that will travel down to Florida to, to come hang out with us, hopefully. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we um, had a, a big meet and greet in Florida. Yeah, we did our, fir our first, very, our first big one. That I think was we had a big what, one. 17 people or something yeah. like that showed up last yeah. March. So let's, let's bring it. Let's bring yeah. it. All. We're, coming, we're coming to Florida in March-ish, whenever mm -hmm. you're there. Um, yep. And then we're going to do Oregon in the summertime. Mm -hmm. And then I guess that leaves us with a fall thing. Oh, which yeah. That I would, would probably be the Upper Peninsula, the right? Baby. All yes. Right. Okay. Fall time, Perfect. 2024. We're going to be hitting up the Upper Peninsula of yep. Michigan. If y'all don't know, you probably, if you're listening and you're like Upper Peninsula, like, fuck yeah. But if you don't know, it's amazing. It's a beautiful area. It's a hidden fucking gem. Mm -hmm. We'll be going to Lake Superior. I really want to go up to Pictured Rocks, I think is where we should go. Oh, um, okay. Pictured Rocks is incredible. These rock formations, mm -hmm. these cliffs and everything. And go maybe do some kayaking, hiking there. Definitely good hiking. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Cool. Lake Superior, baby. It's an in Sweet. In you saw Beth, you saw Lake Erie when you were here. Yeah. Uh, I've never been to Lake Superior. So that'll, that'll be a first for me. I've been to Lake Michigan. Mm -hmm. uh, lake Michigan is so much better than Lake Erie. And then is Lake it? Superior is even bit better and bigger. than. I've lake. never been to either. It's so an, I have no idea. Ocean. It is huge. I'm excited. It's got its own currents. It's got its own tidal waves. It's got wow. everything. It, it acts like an, it, it acts like an ocean because it essentially is. So wow. that's how big it is. Okay. So, fuck yeah. All right. Well, cool. there's That's our exciting. trips. Uh, there's our trips. And then we'll we'll probably still do an Ohio thing and then a Maine thing as well. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. Last year. Those will be yeah, more. Yeah, we did a Maine hike this this year, too. I forgot. We we did four of them. Shit. We, I think we did five because we did. Wow. Uh, okay. We did Florida in March. And then we did Maine. Utah in June. Utah. We did May in August. We did Ohio, Hocking Hills in, in October. So did we do four of them? We did four. I think of them. it's four. It's, yeah. It's the goal is quarterly. So. Yeah. That yeah. makes sense. Okay. Awesome. Fuck yeah. This I'm is excited. Awesome. I love it. Lo love I do too. This. Love doing it. I do this. too. That was one of my goals. My goal every year is to hike. Yeah. Um, now I'm able to. It's always been a, a dream, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Now my dream's coming true, which is cool. Mm hmm. Totally. 
fucking love hiking. Could have never have done month. this without you guys. Trust. <laughs> <laughs> right. For sure. That's Be why honest. we, that's why when we, when we do these meet and greets and these events, that's why we're not charging anybody to do these things. Like we're like, Hey, you guys are our community. This is the fucking community. We love you guys. And mm-hmm. we just want to, you know, give back and get to know you all a little bit better. So. Yeah. You help us. We, we can, help you. Is I think, And we no. can meet, meet our supporters all across the United States. Exactly. exactly. I'd love to get to Banff too. I've heard a lot of people from Canada. Are like, I know. Are you coming let's, to Canada? Not, let's talk about it because everybody. We have a I lot know. of Canadian friends. We do. We do Canada. need to come to Canada. Trust me, I, I want to. Don't laugh, but I need to get a uh, what do you call that? So you can travel outside a of passport, the U.S. Thank you. My God, okay. menopause yeah. brain, you guys. Uh, yes, a passport. I need to work on getting that. Got it. I've you never, get a, never you get been like the simplified the version of it just to, for if you're going to stay in the continent between Mexico and, and Canada, there's a different mm. version I think you can get. Okay. Um, but yeah, definitely got to get that going so we can yeah. get you legally into Canada. Right. I know. I've been to Mexico, which is interesting that you don't need a passport to get to Mexico, at least certain where I've been. Got it. Got it. I've always been, I always fly in. So I've, I got to do that process with mm-hmm. TSA and everything. Immigration. I was used to, when I lived in California, we just drive across the Yeah, border. yeah. I do think the the passport laws have changed since then. Um, mm-hmm. What was that, 10, 15 years ago for you? Or, Probably. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure what, what the laws are these days, but yeah, we'll get you a passport. Yeah, I need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So we'll be coming to Canada for sure. We don't know when. Sooner rather than later. We should put that as a focus for 25 because we, we're really going to, here's my, here's my, concern is Mm -hmm. i don't want to go somewhere where nobody's going to show up right we need people to show up because it's it's it's, we're paying for the shit out of our our pocket right yeah Yeah. so we need people like if you're if people are going to show up we will go to fucking timbuktu if we can get people to show up and come. that's the thing like we planned utah because everyone was like you need to go to utah right yeah. Well, we had uh, just a couple of people show up to like 15 people rsvp and then right that that kind of really bummed me out but And we then we're still not had a blast. But... It was it was probably my favorite trip of the entire year. It was. To be honest. It was. Um, Shout out to Jordan if you're listening for showing up. You and your yes. husband. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, absolutely. We'll show up wherever you guys want us to. But just show you up. You got to show up too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The minute you stop showing up, we're not going to do it anymore. I mean, mm-hmm. we still will. Just we we're not going to invite other people. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. That's true. Use right. it or lose it. You're I mean, done. You're done. You're done. Okay. Ooh. All right. 45 minutes. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's already 145. Holy shit. Can somebody let us know how many times we say that? It's probably every episode. Where's time gone? Like 45 uh, minutes. Yeah. But yeah. Wow. All right. I don't know what else I have. I'll just close it with saying it's okay to not be okay, guys. You lean on your support system. If you don't have a support system, reach out to myself, to Beth. Join our our communities, our Facebook groups. Send us a message. Mm-hmm. There's somebody out there for you. You don't need to go through this alone. Whatever it is you're going through, whether it's physical health challenges, whether it's mental health challenges, you don't need to do this alone. Yeah, it's it's fucking depressing and sad and frustrating doing shit on your own. Mm-hmm. It's okay to ask for help. Yeah. Somebody will help. People like us, we love helping your friends, your family. Mm-hmm. Hopefully they love helping as well. If they're not, maybe you need to reevaluate those relationships. Yeah. <laughs> and remember that we're human too. And just because we're coaches doesn't mean we're perfect and doing all the things. Thank you. Yes. Because yeah. we, we struggle too, just like our clients struggle. I tell We've you to got... do all the things. I need to fucking do them too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just because I'm a healthy weight <laughs> and yet I do exercise and I eat my fruits and veggies. Maybe I'm still not doing enough. Mm-hmm. I will. I want to say enough. Maybe it's just you. Maybe that wasn't the smarter. right word, but work smarter, yeah. not harder. Right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Shifting yeah. some things around, pivoting a little bit. Mm-hmm. That's my word. And for me 2000. being more aware and more conscious of what I'm adding into mm-hmm. my diet rather than mm-hmm. being complacent and lazy, which I was getting. That, and that is where I was getting fucking lazy. Let's like, talk okay. about that for a few minutes. Let's not end this episode yet, actually. Okay. Because what you're talking about there is maintenance. And that's where so many people go See? wrong with weight loss. Maintenance they hit is not easy. Goal, and and I've been in maintenance roll. for a year and a half. And exactly where I'm like, cool, I'm not focusing on fat loss. I don't need to eat every fruit and veggie. Right. No, you still need to eat fruits and fucking veggies and fiber and omega-3s mm-hmm, when mm-hmm. you're in maintenance. But maintenance is, is tricky. Just, tricky. yeah, it is tricky. I'm still navigating it. It's obviously. <laughs> yeah. If you treat you know? maintenance as a free for all, you're going to mm-hmm. be in for a bad time. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. But you're, which you're not. You're not treating it like a free for all. So, right. Yeah. Exactly. But this is where so many people go wrong with diets 
after the, after the diet, they reach their weight loss goal and they don't, they don't do a good job of being in maintenance or they just don't even mm -hmm. worry about maintenance. And then it's just, they, they just completely go off the rails anyway. So, yeah. Yep. For sure. Mm -hmm. There it is. I think it's a great way to end it. There it is. All right. Great All right. chatting with you. Bye Matt. Bye See guys. Everybody. Hope you enjoyed this episode. So why not share it with a friend who needs to hear it? Send us a DM on Instagram or email us at cutthecrappod at gmail.com and join our Patreon at patreon.com slash cutthecrappodcast. As always, we appreciate you and thanks for being here.